Graham Greene was born June 22, 1952 in Oswegan on the Six Nations Reserve in Ontario, Canada. Graham was the son of John and Lillian Greene. Graham had a pretty average childhood. He described his childhood as pleasant. He dropped out of school when he hit the age of 16 and moved to Rochester, New York by himself. When Graham was 18 years old, he had taken a welding course at George Brown College in Toronto and later found himself making railroad cars in Hamilton, Ontario. Graham's story of how he became a significant Indigenous actor is very interesting. He first became involved with film in the late 1970s in England and in Canada. Graham's television series debut was in The Great Detective in 1979. It was a drama filmed in Ontario and set in Victorian time. He played Grey Sky. Fast forward to 1983, when Graham debuted in his first movie called Running Brave. He continued with small parts in Canadian and in American films, but he really came to fame as his role as Kicking Bird, a leader of the Sioux tribe in Dances with Wolves. Due to the popularity of the film, he became more well known and his career accelerated. He married Hilary Blackmore in the same year and began a family. Over Graham Greene's acting career, he has had many significant accomplishments, some of which include Gemini Award for Best Performance in a Children's Program, the Earl Grey Award for Lifetime Achievement, Academy of Canadian Film and Television, which he received in 2004, and inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame in 2021. Grand Marine's biggest contribution to the world of cinema was the way he turned heads about the Indigenous culture through film. Through films like Thunderheart and Dances with Wolves, he has shown us that Indigenous people are just as capable as white people of anything, as well as ordinary humans like you and me. He has demonstrated an uncanny ability to choose roles that are varied and go against the type. He has shown that he has a great sense of humor and has played many comedic roles. He has also appeared in a number of children's productions, both on television and movies. He has also done voiceover work in animated shows. If you had to pick a trademark for him, it would for sure be his versatility. For many years, one of the ongoing issues in First Nations politics has been the use of native land for providing or transporting minerals. The Enbridge Northern Gateway Pipeline, starting in 2010, was an attempt to move gas through First Nations lands in British Columbia. It led to a series of protests and lawsuits that went on for years and years. Like the movie Thunderheart, it demonstrates the difficulty that First Nations face while there is a need for income on a reserve. It is always important to ensure that the sacredness of the land is always given the number one priority. We see the same issue being played out many years later with the coastal gas line pipeline. As in the movie Thunderheart, it is not just an issue of protecting the environment, it is about the frustrations that First Nations feel when governments make decisions without any consultation or permission. For First Nations people, it speaks to the colonial attitude that demonstrates that the government believes it is always right and knows what is best for the First Nations people. The film Dances with Wolves connects back to Unit 1 of this course, the portrayal of a North American Indigenous people on film. In this film, the sewer portrayed as simple, backward, but wise. Luckily, John Dunbar will be their white savior and will educate them about the modern world. For example, as a pioneer attacking, Dunbar says, shoot the gun. I said the Sioux don't know what guns are, and yet at the historic battle, Little Big Ten, they defeat Custer with guns. Shoot the gun! Furthermore, one member of the tribe, Kicking Bird, played by Graham Greene, is portrayed as the stoic Indian and is highly respected by his tribe. It is not only the wonderful acting of Greene that gives this character depth and prevents him from becoming a stereotype. As important as this film is, it often seems to cross the line and makes the natives dependent upon their white savior. This is exemplified best in the scene where he is riding, supposedly, to his death and throws his arms out in a crucifixion pose. He is willing to sacrifice himself for the good of others. A classic messianic complex. Graham usually plays the role of a tribal police officer in his films. A couple examples include Thunderheart 1992 and Wind River 2017. He does this to enforce indigenous issues to the audience in hopes that this will one day be all resolved in the real world. Graham Greene has been in over 39 films. Over 35 of his films 
showcase current Indigenous issues that are currently a problem for Indigenous people. Now, some of you might be asking why Graham Greene should be celebrated. While there are not many roles for Indigenous peoples in film and television, it makes sense that an actor of Graham Greene's status would get lots of roles. What makes him unique is not that all of his roles identify as First Nations. So, he works consistently as a quality actor, bringing his gifts and talents to any role Recently? that he chooses. Perhaps his most significant trait is his versatility. He has refused to be a typecast as the Indian actor. From drama to comedy, action to suspense, children's programming to animation, he brings an interesting and engaging performance to every role that he attempts. Many young First Nation actors have used him as an example of the best way to work and build a career that is both prolific and meaningful. I believe that the film Thunderheart best typifies his career. While the movie Dances with Wolves won him an Academy Award, it was Thunderheart that demonstrated how successfully he can portray a character that is complex, diverse, and engaging. You really care about his character, not because he is an Indigenous person struggling with Indigenous issues, but because he is just a person trying to make sense of the world around him.